you know, and that was a safety squeeze. Right. We squeezed on this team last year, and I didn't feel like we could afford to squeeze and risk a pitch out. I'm surprised we didn't get a pitch out in one of those two pitches there. Maybe they forgot. I don't know. Maybe the the wild pitch on the intentional walk. Yeah, yeah, that. boy, how about that? I don't see that all the time, but that ain't the first. We've all seen it before, haven't we? Mm-hmm. I go back to Thurman getting out of the seventh inning. Absolutely. I really give him a lot of credit for battling like he did, particularly in that inning, because, I mean, it was a rough night. Uh, I... You know, once again, his stuff was good, but he was up, and this team th this team is nine tough outs, and hey, they flared some balls for hits, and they hit some ball hard for hits. Um, I, I, I mean, I really give him credit for hanging in there and grinding it out. I mean, uh, I think if, you know, that we can argue that that play at the plate, we threw the ball away at shortstop, right? But that play at the plate, uh, right or wrong, that, you know, that, it, you know, you throw two runs into the mix. I mean, I think he pitched real well, and I'd like to have seen him get the win. I'm sorry I didn't get the win. Is there something mechanically that's contributing possibly to his inconsistency? Because he looks great on some pitches and then other pitches. Well, if it is mechanically, I, I mean, I, we don't know. We don't see it, no. Well, you know, he looks exactly the same as always. He's, he's up a little bit. And, uh, yeah. and then good a little bit. And then very good a little bit. I mean, I actually give them a lot of credit. I, you know, they, they come in here with this record that they have, and everybody thinks they're no good. And the fact is, is that, I mean, their schedule, as you may or may not know, I'm sure you probably do, is really front-loaded with the heavyweights because they got swept by Fullerton, swept by Cal Poly, swept by Long Beach. They just swept Riverside last weekend. They've beaten Stanford. They've beaten Oklahoma State. Beat Washington three out of four. I think this is a case of numbers lying. This is a pretty good team. Andrew's kind of a fly ball pitcher anyhow, though, isn't he? Well, yeah, we're not, it's not like we like that. But, I mean, yeah. some people no, just stand right. up yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Although he got more ground balls when I, last time I saw him was against yeah. Hawaii. But. And I'm really not unhappy with the way he pitched. I'm really not. I, 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 I like the way he pitched. But he, but he gave up some hits. Tell us about Taylor. Last time I talked to you at SC, you were hoping he would turn it on, and he sure has. Taylor yeah, Smith. yeah, he's uh, he's really been he's just better. I mean, it, it, you you know, I mean, you really saw him a lot last year, so you know how much he struck out. Well, here we are, and I don't know, we're close to 40 games, and he struck out 24 times. This is a guy who struck out almost 70 times last year. So the the truth is is that hey you you know too I mean he'll like a lot of guys he'll still chase and there's still some you know in, in lack of patience but he's much more disciplined and uh, now much more confident and we all know how important that is and no matter what our game is and um, because he's really been hot for a couple of weeks. Were you surprised to see them pitch to him? Uh, I think it was the seventh or eighth with the with open base after well, the last one he put on the ball. I, yeah, you'd have to ask Coach Coach Vaughn about that. I mean, I maybe it was uh, I don't know, maybe it was just a competitive thing. I I really don't because they made the change to the next hitter. Um, they got him out. You know, mm -hmm. So you know, I guess they strategized and knew what they were doing. I mean. Have you thought at all about shaking the rotation up a little on the weekend? Yes, I have. We just haven't done it yet. Okay. Yeah, the answer is yes. And did, would that just be a Saturday Sunday thing, or possibly a? No, it, yeah, it just would just Saturday be Saturday Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Uh, and one of the reasons that I decided to not make the change is simply because this team, this team typically keeps all their left-handers in the lineup. And that's always been four or five guys. Now, as it turns out, there were just three guys in there tonight, so maybe we won't see, you know, the three guys tomorrow. I don't know. But I just decided to leave it that way for that reason, at the very least. But, yeah, the answer is yes. And, Coach, how do you feel about your potential chances of getting an at-large bid and making a regional? Well, I think realistically it's just, um, I mean, it's, of course it's doable. And we got we got to go about our business like it is doable, but we have to finish in the top three. We can't finish fourth and get in. We can't. You know, 
and certainly not below. I mean, never mind whether we should or shouldn't. It's the perception of the conference. As you know, this conference got one team last year. Then always before it's been two, once in a while three. Um, it's maddening, I'll tell you that. It's really frustrating because the Pac-10 or 12 is going to get in six or seven, and all you know the, the, the heavyweights are going to get in there five, six, or seven teams. This conference is not. It's just life. It's not all right, but it's life. And uh, so I think realistically, uh, we we have to finish third. And so certainly we have to deal with the cliche. I mean, we have to deal with the next one. Uh, but you, but we. But but we're very, very mindful of the fact of what's what's ahead. I mean, it's 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 the guys. These guys have already played. Right? Is it something you've talked about with the team at all? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, the message is abundantly clear. We have to win. When we always preach, play well, do it right. You know, we'll win our share of games. Just play well, play hard, we'll win our share of games. Well, it's got to win. We have to. I mean, this this would have been an example. I mean, I think for the most part, we we did play well. We, you know, we had some tough at bats and into some tough outs. It would have been hard to be critical of us by me if we'd lost this game. I mean, because they did play well, and I think they did for the most part play well. But, but we could have lost. <laughs> yeah, and it's the way it is.